Hello and welcome to another edition of Late Night with Purple Swordfish. With yours truly, Alex, aka Purple Swordfish. We're playing some Forza Horizon 4 on the Xbox One. Feels pretty good to be back on this game. It's been a while since the last Forza stream, but it should be a good one. Looking forward to it. And I've made no progress since the last stream. In fact, I've been telling myself, like, maybe just don't play that much until, you know, you stream again. And, well, I just haven't been playing. Been playing Madden. So, kind of sucks. But, um, eventually, I think I'm going to rip the Band-Aid off and just decide, like, uh, you know what? Let's just let's just play the game. You know, like, let's just get into it. So, let's go to this dirt racing series thing. Here. Real quick, want to give F1 NASCAR fan 2019 and Food Matrix a huge thank you for being here early. Appreciate that. I think I switched to this Porsche, like, right before I ended the last stream. I like it though. It's very tail happy, but I like it. Did you watch the 500 last night? Uh, a little bit, not much. Not much. I was out with my wife at the time, so like I got to watch a little bit of it on the TV, but because we were in a place that had a TV on, but and get to like sit down and watch it in depth. There's no Hamlin one. Good for him, by the way. Like I feel like if you're a NASCAR driver, like. One thing you will always want to do is win, like, one Daytona 500. Like, it's such an iconic race. It's kind of like Talladega. It's like you want that one win at that one track. Yeah, th this Porsche is a little tail happy. Have kind of get that in check. Uh, there, that's a little bit better. Not as good as I thought it would be. One for J.D. Gibbs. Yeah, man. Gibbs. They stay up there. Okay, let's see. What are we going to use? We could use Escort Cosworth. We could use Evolution. Kind of want to use that Cosworth, honestly. Have I raced with this before? I don't think I've raced with this Cosworth before. I think there was another Escort that I had that was a white. Wait. Maybe I did race with this. It looked red in the photo, though. I don't know. I don't remember racing with this. No, I definitely have not used this before. I would have remembered the back of this one. Holy crap. Look at this escort. Ooh, this is not the escort that I remember. My grandparents owned the escort. It was it was not this. Oh, I did not want to hit that rear view camera. It's fine. It's fine. I'm still I, I still got my multiplier. That's all. That's what it's all about. Getting that multiplier going. Okay, I believe that's a Lance. Yep, Lancia. One of the nicest looking rally cars ever, in my opinion. That Lancia is. Right up there with like the Subaru STI. Just a beautiful looking car. This is one of the point-to-point -point races. This is not laps. It's like a sprint race, I think is what they call it. 43%. Ugh, this turn. 
Oddfellow Gaming, what's up, man? Uh, been hoping to see you in one of my streams. I was in one of them. I put, I put something in the chat. I usually lurk, though, just to be honest. What was I in? What were you streaming the other day? You were streaming something. And you kept giving people shout outs. Try to remember what it was. Uh, Brayden, your grandma's funeral was today. Well, you know, dude, like, it, it sucks what happens. You know, like, like, I'm, I feel bad for you, but sometimes that funeral is the closure you need. You know? Well, yeah. That, that's, that's really all I can say about it. Like, when my grandmother died, uh, she didn't have a funeral because she got cremated but we did have a viewing and I get it, it gave me the closure I needed still miss her though that that never goes away it still hurts but like it gives you that I don't know I don't know how to describe it whether to say closure All right, let's get caught up on chat here. Uh, let's see. Well, here's what you have to understand about racing. <laughs> yeah, Colby, I love you. I love you with these mole comments. <laughs> it's great. Uh, Steel, what's up? Welcome. Viper, how was my weekend league record? I went seven and seven, and then I quit. wasn't feeling it. Sunday, I could have played weekend league, and I spent the night with my wife. I will be back at weekend league this weekend, but I I was fed up. I was fed up. So I had a nice. I had a nice night with my wife, and uh, that was pretty much the end of it's pretty much the end of weekend league for Alex here. Ethan, what's up, dude? Colby's burner. I have a seven account as well. Oh my god, Colby's burner. It's like so uh, non-discreet almost. Listen, sweetie, step on it. We got to get my pads. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't finish that. Well, your car is going to look like red wine. Oh my god. Your car is going to look like a bottle of red wine. <laughs> oh, Doris. Are you about done with Madden 19? Are you ready for Madden 20? I mean, I'll be getting Madden 20, but... I made a commitment to play Madden 19 until July. I will uphold that commitment. I will be playing it till July. And I did two weekend league streams and I did one recorded video this past week. So while that's a little bit less than normal, I will probably continue doing at least that through July. And then I'll take a month off and I'll be ready for Madden 20. Now, if it gets to a point where Madden videos just don't get views and Madden streams don't get views, like I'll just probably quit a little bit earlier, but like quite honestly, like, you know, Madden's a big, it's a big part of the channel, so. People have come to expect it over the years. Uh, I'm going to sue Madden 19 sad. Oh my god. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck to you. I feel like this year's game, it had a lot of potential and their lack of ability 
or willingness, one of the two, to kind of fix some game-breaking issues in most people's minds. On the competitive scene, I, I feel like that kind of ruined the game uh, from a non-mainstream perspective. Because I think the mainstream people who, who buy Madden, like, they generally play it for a couple months and then they wait until Madden 20. The guys who want to play it year-round, like, they're looking for those fixes. Like, they're, they're looking for the... Uh, the commitment to get things right and I just don't feel like that was there this year there were just too many errors too many problems that persisted problems that some of them are still present now so you know like there's that but I'm really trying to keep this multiplier going because it could be a pretty big deal but at the same time, I feel like I'm losing control. Oh. Fuck me, dude. Like, what a big chungus type move right there. <sighs> you don't have school this week, F1? I wish I didn't have work this week. That doesn't happen, though. Like, work doesn't go away, dude. Like, that's one thing school doesn't prepare you for. There's no summer vacation. There's no Christmas vacation. There's no spring break. I'm just gonna keep working. 10 1 Love 10, what's up? Welcome. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I'm currently writing a song called Trapped in Hell. There you go. Another. I'm sure it'll start off real nice and then it'll turn into like, uh, you know, the typical metal song. Like, it was a good day. And then like at the end, it's like, now I'm dead. I do like metal though. So like when I listen to metal, I'm usually listening to the to, to like the instrumental part. The lyrics, eh, didn't really do much for me. Uh, Viper says he got 14 wins in Quit Weekend League. The dude, like, do you have to come in here and show off? Is that what you're trying to do? Come in here and show off? I'm just messing with you, but seriously, like, like you you know that's like way more than I, like. Wow. Like, I love how you're like, I got 14, and I was like, ah, I'm done. I'm done. I can't take this shit anymore. Uh, You know what? Let's use the Escort a little bit more. How about that? It's about suicide prevention? That's kind of deep. Vic driving the hoopty. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I had no school today. Probably not Wednesday because seven inches of snow. That's a lot of snow. Steel. Keep it up, man. Don't ever lose in weekend league. You can say you're undefeated. I shoot for 12 to 14. Last weekend I got 12 wins. Yeah, I, I don't know, dude. The... So last weekend I got to seven wins. It was seven and two. I went. No, I'm sorry. I was seven and. Wait. No, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase this. I was six and one. And then I went one and six on the second stream. And that got me to seven and seven. And I was like, you know what? I think I need a break. Previous weekend, I won 14. Like, I know I can win 14 a week. It'll take me all 25, but I know I can win 14. And I feel like 16 is a possibility, but beyond that, I just feel like it's mm, 
Probably not gonna happen. Even getting like 17 feels just light years away. I mean, I've finished with 15 a number of times. You know, like, it, it it's tough, dude. Like, getting anything past, from my experience, anything past 14 is very difficult. Come on, escort. Don't let me down. No, I sound like a guy who pays for sex. Come on, escort. Don't let me down. Don't just go through the motions. I'm paying for it. That's a joke that most people will probably not get. Oh, Lord. I don't even care. I'm going to redo this race. I hate losing. I hate losing. What is this? Hold on. Let me get caught up on chat here. Uh... What's the objective of this game? To basically win all the races, get all the cars. It's pretty much it. What do I say to get blocked on EA on Twitter? All you got to do is criticize them. Uh, I didn't for the nine. No, I did not. I got. I, I, I didn't even touch the game on Sunday. Couldn't bother for it. Uh, tell them EA stands for Electronic Autism. Fair. That would probably get you blocked. It, it doesn't take much, dude. Like, I, I got blocked for uh, retweeting Thrones ebook. Because the day I retweeted his ebook, I got blocked. And I went through all my tweets and I'm like, I didn't do anything else that could be objectionable. So. I mean, if that's how they want to treat me, that like, it's all good. But like, I I love the idea of blocking your customers. You know, like it's such an absurd notion. Like I'm gonna block this guy who buys my game every year and has been playing the game since 1993. Like, that's some ridiculousness. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't buy the game anymore. You know? One more to go. It's always that last one that's a difficult one on these point to point races. It's also the same drive avatar almost every time. God, I feel like I'm going to have to do it again. I'm, I'm going to have to do this race again. <sighs> There's got to be a way to do it. Did I watch Elimination Chamber? Yeah, it was great. I just called their books boring. I'm done for. They'll probably think you, you said ebooks. Did I get Elite in Weekend League? No, not even close. Not even close. 
Uh, Leo Rush lost a match. And then Bobby Lashley gave him a spine buster. I'm racing like an absolute douchebag right now. And even then, they're still waxing me. I think I may have the wrong car. You gotta be kidding me. Like, that was dead. Okay, never mind. I missed it. I missed it. Like, I feel like this might be the closest I've ever gotten to the to the leader on this race. And I'm at 55%. I just, I have no response for him in the straights. Like, that's what I'm learning. Everything I'm making up is in the turns. Like, it's absolutely waxing me in anything that's remotely straight. That's annoying. That damn Mini Cooper. Get out of my way, Mini Cooper. You're a false representation of the past not a true mini not all my songs are gonna be about hell I'm gonna write a song about my best friend that joined the army there you go are you lightning McQueen I don't know there's some guy on Twitter who follows me with that name I don't know I'm not that guy though hit the NOS you gotta get the, like the little pss, pss, thing on the steering wheel like those special little buttons that's one thing from the 2000s that I don't think most people remember the NOS craze people were putting fake buttons on their steering wheel for for NOS you want to hear something interesting? Of course, yes. Please. Turn around when it is safe to do so. And Colby with the retracted message. Not sure. I bet that was interesting. Find a car. Okay. We could do that. Oh, shit. 
Daytona 500 had a 5.3 TV rating. The NBA All-Star Game only had a 5.0 TV rating. Yeah, I mean, NASCAR is still one of the biggest sports in America. I don't care what anybody says. That's a, like, it doesn't surprise me too much. Especially considering, like, people... Even NBA fans don't really care for the All-Star Game that much. Like... Even when I was when I was really big into the NBA, I would watch the uh, the skills challenge, the three point contest, the slam dunk contest. There were a couple years they did this version of horse that was pretty good. Wish they'd bring that back. That was kind of cool. Wish that one guy was here so he could be like, you're going the wrong way. It's definitely not there. That's like a tunnel. I hit a tree. Okay, awesome. Jason Garrett admitted to being a lesbian. I, 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 don't, I don't know how to react to that. Does that mean he's like going down on some chick? He's clapping while he does it. Like that. You know, just like really weird. <sighs> and like <laughs> the chick's like, you know what? Uh, you know, Jason, I've been thinking about it and um, I have to rethink uh, what I'm into because of you and your terrible play calling. Is this it? This has to be it. This isn't it. It's in the middle of nowhere. How is that not the barn find? There's nothing even close to this. Let me in. This, this has to be it. Fine, whatever. SXML Network, what's up, man? I just can't believe that's not it. Like, it's in the... It, there's nothing around it. Like, how weird is it that that's not the barn find? Look at your map. Driving through some field of purple flowers. Like some kind of friggin' hippie. I just want the car. I just want the car that's hidden in some kind of barn somewhere. I just I can't believe that wasn't it to me that's so bizarre what's going on on this side
Call me Papa Smurf. Is it a race game? Um, kind of. Like, there's also some exploration aspects to it, I guess. Drew Breeze, what's up? Cars1818, what's up? Nova Star says, call me Papa Smurf. What's up, Papa Smurf? Whatever that's about. I want everybody to think I'm a little blue guy who probably has a little tiny dick. I don't know, man. Like, a lot of people were into Smurfs when I was a kid. I think Smurfs are weird. I don't get it. Some bald dude on Discord told me to come say hi. There you go. Boom. This has to be it. Oh, wait. This is the same one that I already thought was it. Okay. Well. Oh, my God. I really wish there was a guy I could look up. Drive a G6 by 6 I don't think I have that. Where the hell could this thing be? It's running everywhere searching for this thing. I feel like this is very boring. If you have three balls, is that still okay? Of course, dude. Like, the more balls, the merrier. I like to think if you had three balls, like you have a kid, and um, like your kid turns out like kind of smart, and doctor's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of amazing, you know, this kid's really smart. And you're like, yeah, it's because he came from the third ball, not the second. <sighs> Drive an off-road car, man. I, I just want to find this barn and then get into a race. There's got to be a guide somewhere where I can just like find the actual location. When's Coin Cupid? Oh my god. We, I, I totally forgot about that. That's on me, not even Ashley. That's on me. It's not a tumor. I have 17 different size balls. Will this satisfy Do Oh, wait, shit. That's not for Doris. That's Doris doesn't care, dude. She just doesn't want to get pregnant. Even though I told Doris she had menopause already, she didn't believe me. She's afraid she's going to get pregnant and she won't be able to smoke. Who is Doris? Damn, dude. It's my great aunt. Great aunt Doris. She's the... She's the fucking best, dude. Listen, sweetie. I work at IHOP. Ephes, what's up, dude? Dude, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I think I might need to stop looking for this thing. Because I haven't been able to find it. And I feel like I'm just going in circles. And I keep seeing the same exact effing thing. Thinking it's it's the barn that I need to find. Nova Star says I'm a furry, accept me. I accept you, but I question your choices. Like, the furry thing is something that I just don't get. When I was doing online dating, I met somebody who was into that. And she's like, I need you to understand that... 
sometimes I go to furry conventions and that means that I randomly hook up with guys, but you know, I'm not really hooking up with guys. I'm hooking up with the character. You know, like it's a character that they portray in the costume. So like, it's not really cheating and I'm like, N no, like you're still putting a dick in your vag your furry vagina. Is this it? Oh my god, it's it. How come you always find these things before me? I, I, it's not like I'm not looking. They're better than bronies. <laughs> I don't think most people know what a brony is, Ego One, but I know what a brony is. It's kind of funny. If you're a furry, you can get more action. I love how you typed it like the SpongeBob meme. Uh, sex talk with swordfish. I could tell you all kinds of crazy stories from women that I uh, dated in the past. Xavier Woods is a brony. He he I, I I would believe that. I would believe that. Give those stories. I don't know, dude. I don't wanna I mean I, I just told you guys one of the weirdest. Like she was like the way it was described to me by her was to elaborate a little bit on the, the furry story was she would just go to these conventions and you would dress up in a so you could either not dress up in a costume or dress up in a furry costume she didn't so like she would go to these conventions and i would see what she was wearing when she would go to these conventions it was like really revealing you know like you know like hot to trot type attire right and the way she described it to me is like, well, it's not cheating because like they peel off like a little part of the furry costume and they just penetrate me with that. And I don't know what I'm doing. You know, like they're just, I'm just, you know, having sex with the furry dog or having sex with the furry wolf or whatever. And I'm like, no, like I, I'm not going to stand for this. Like I would never go out with someone like that. It is a Ford Escort RS. I think the the weirdest thing other than the furry one was this one girl who um she was in like this thing called beat up sex where like she wanted to have relations where during the course of those relations like i would slap her around a little bit and give her a black eye like those kind of and i'm like i don't think i'm comfortable with this i'm not the guy for you sorry i watch the nfl i'm against domestic violence even if it's domestic violence that the person wants me to commit i i I don't know, dude. Like, there's nothing in the world about slapping a woman around that gets me like, oh, yeah, that's hot. Like, it's just, it's not a thing that I'm into. You are an abuser. Nah, man, I couldn't do that. Like, here's the thing, like, I know some guys would be able to get into that, but, like, me, like, if I were ever to hit a woman, like, no way, dude. Like, I get the whole rough sex thing, like, that's one thing. I'm talking about, like, this girl wanted me to, like, slap her as hard as I could across the face and, like, punch her and stuff. Like, no way, dude. And then, of course, you know, like, once she finds out you're not going to do that, like, all the interest fades away, so. Wait.
which is just as well, you know. Sometimes you get the really weird ones. Like another one that I got was I, I didn't really look into this any further. Like, so I don't really have any like solid details as to how it would actually work, but you'd have these girls reach out and they'd be like, yeah, I have a boyfriend, but he's into me getting shared. So I want to be with you like as a hookup, which I wasn't looking for to begin to begin with. Right. They'll be like, I, I want to be with you as a hookup, and I want to film it so he can watch. And you're like, whoa, like, this is weird. I don't want some other dude watching me bone his chick. Like, that's... Like, I didn't know what to say other than, like, you're really beautiful, and I would probably go out with you under any other pretenses, but not those. Oh, here we go get caught up here uh that could easily be misconstrued as salt true tiktok gave me aids i think tiktok is terrible uh this isn't twilight agreed that's one police report away from getting really bad absolutely it's part of what went through my mind uh notice new profile picture it looks different but i can't really see it because like when i look at chat all of your icons are really tiny porn star swordfish no dude i, I couldn't do that i couldn't do that nobody would want to watch me having sex like first off i'm super pale I don't have a, I don't have a great bod, so I could never be in a porn movie. My song is finished. I even added the suicide prevention's hotline number at the end. I mean, at least it's a positive message. Swordfish grunts when he's having sex. Yeah. I don't grunt. My name is London Electricity. I like I like to moan excessively like ooh, 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 like that. <laughs> he doesn't grunt, he growls. Nah dude, I'm telling you right now, man, like all joking aside about me like excessively moaning, like you don't want to be completely quiet, but you don't want to be the guy who's like, Ooh, Ooh I'm going to pre. <laughs> Do I sound like little Jamesy at the end of that? Oh, I'm going to come on you, bitch. Yeah. I'm going to steal your bitch. Yeah. Every, every, everything that you say during sex has to end with, yeah. Gonna come on your face, yeah. In 400 yards, turn right. Uh, seriously. <laughs> I just saw that. I can't even finish saying it. You're saying women don't like having sex with men who sound like monkeys. <laughs> I can imagine trying to sound like a monkey. <laughs> You're like, <"Rah!" laughs> like, no, you definitely don't want to sound like a monkey. Like, you know, uh, I think Jared put it best in a previous stream. He's like, you don't want to go overboard with it, but you don't want to be completely silent either. You know, like you want to. You want to make enough noise so that, you know, your partner knows that uh, you're enjoying it. But you don't want to be like, ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Gonna hit this tree! Ooh! 
Yeah, just enough so you know, like, they know. So that they know you like it, you know? <laughs> you have arrived at your destination. <laughs> How about breathing heavily? I mean, you're probably going to breathe heavily uncontrollably, like... You know, it's kind of a cardiovascular activity after a while. Like, after a couple minutes, man, the it kind of becomes a cardio workout. So. Yeah, women, you, you want, like, I'm telling you right now, man. You find a chick who's, like, feeling it. Make you feel like a million bucks. I'm I I officially apologize to anybody who's ten years old and just heard me simulating having sex very awkwardly. Ooh. <laughs> I just like to imagine there's like some guy who's like, oh shit, that's what I sound like when I have sex. Like to his I like to imagine his girlfriend would go to work and she's like, yeah, you know, like, I had a really good time with Tyler last night, but he's really good in bed, and I just really love having his big chungus inside me, but he just makes this weird ooh, noise. <laughs> his girlfriend's like, mm-mm, baby, you get rid of that man. Tyler ain't no man, he's a boy. Uh, DCDs? Uh, that podcast dead, pal, dude. Like, it's, it's over. I think I just called you by two different pronouns. Sorry. Now, now I, I feel like I want to do it more just because it makes me funny. Like, it makes me laugh. It's just funny to me at this point. Because I'm thinking about that guy out there behind a computer screen like, oh, shit, I think I kind of sound like that. And then, like, he tapes himself having sex just audio-wise. And he's like, oh, shit, no fucking way I do sound like that. Oh, Oh, that Lancia just swooped in and was like, I'll take the lead. Just don't sound like a rooster crowing in the morning when you're finished. Oh, no, you don't want to do that either. My favorite, though, was this one porn that I watched when I was probably about 16. And this guy, he was, like, really overselling when he finished. He was like... <laughs> and I was like, whoa, dude. Like, there's no way it feels that good. Like, I've spooged before. It doesn't, it, it doesn't feel that good. Oh, you want to do like a Bigfoot call when you put it in? <laughs> She's like, what the hell is going on? And you like just throw on a trucker hat that says Bigfoot Researchers Organization. <laughs> She's <laughs> the whole time she's thinking like, what did I get myself into? But he's inside of me already. So I might as well just let him finish. <laughs> <laughs> You're really cute, girl. Screams an eight year person. <laughs> what the hell is going on with Nova Star? Are you okay, man? Okay, we we Nova, your keyboard's on the fritz, man. I'm just gonna put you in a timeout real quick.
Uh, Colby beat me to it. Uh, let's see here. I missed some stuff. Purple, would you, who would you say desires it more, men or women? I would definitely say men. Definitely say men. But I will say this. Women, I think women want it just as, just as much sometimes with the right dude. It's just, you know, they're, they're better at kind of keeping it, you know, low key. Every time he puts it in, his voice gets a little deeper, like, ooh, 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 like that. Pretty soon, it just sounds like a slowed down version of a CD. In 100 yards. Yeah, women, women want it more than you think. It's just like the way, the way to attract a woman into that is a little bit different than a man they're more about like emotions and stuff if that makes sense <laughs> unless you are bad at it it's funny jared says that because i knew a guy who was like dude i was at it for half an hour with my girlfriend and she didn't seem to like it and I just don't know why. And like he was just like racking his brain. And this one girl who was like overhearing the conversation. Uh, wait, what the? F I can't afford any of this shit. Okay, well, I guess I'm not doing this race. But this one girl who overheard the conversation, she was like, yeah, if you're doing it for a half hour and your girlfriend's not into it. You're not doing it right. I was like, ouch. In 400 yards. Women just want to brag to their friends. My man keeping me happy. How about you, Selena? I feel like I didn't read that in the right voice, but I, I get what you're saying. Men's porn is visual, no plot. Men, women read romance novels, which follow a bad boy. That the main character tames and they live happily ever after. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just like, it's emotional. Like, women are more into the emotional thing. That sounds like purple at Whole Foods. Uh, yeah. I don't go to Whole Foods. Going to Whole Foods, I'm like, hey, y'all got hot dogs. My boyfriend has a horse cock. Do you even have a guy, Selena? <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, let me try a different car. I've been trying to switch it up. Here we go. Let's switch up to the skyline. Drew Brees is not ten. I I'm as time goes on, I'm less and less buying into that. He just comes across too well. Ric Flair's birthday special is next Monday. I think we all know what's going to happen there. Should be fun. Should be interesting. No, I do not want to upgrade my Drivatar thing. Um, I'm actually only 8 with unlimited access to the internet. I don't believe you. We're just talking about how you had a job. Eight-year-olds don't work. Not in this country where they're lazy. They need to learn some work ethic like the kids overseas who have to sew soccer balls for pennies a day. It's a terrible joke. I feel bad for those kids. They shouldn't have to do that. I don't even know if that still happens. I know it happened when I was a kid, but I'm, I don't know if they've found a way to make that not a thing overseas. 
I don't know, somebody, a, a smart person in the chat could probably tell me. They'd be like, actually. Um, sweatshot worker here. Those iPhones don't make themselves. Hello. I worked really hard on that iPhone 10s Max that you have on your desk there, Purple Swordfish. The supplies came in two days late, so they really rode us hard to get it out on launch day. Meanwhile, like, Apple shows photos of their, their factories, like, at Foxconn. And it just looks like a bunch of little, like, guys and girls in, like, all white suits and masks putting together phones. But, like, secretly, I've always wondered, like, is there, like, another room where it's, like, a bunch of little kids in the same outfits? I just don't know. I don't know if I could trust it. I say that as I send memes to my wife on iMessage with my new iPhone, but I still wonder. <laughs> I got an extra ticket for early completion. I'm missing so much of the chat right now, and I feel so bad about it. Just, I'm racing with the Skyline, and it's not great. Purple, you want to believe how much snow is outside my house right now? It's a ton, really. I wish it cooled down again here in Orlando. My power bill basically dropped to 50% of what it used to be with all the cold weather because I don't run the heat like there's no need to so I just don't run the air I went like a week and a half without having to run the air conditioning in my house it was great I gave birth to Squidward the musical I'd watch Squidward the musical 20 inches of snow outside of your house be man that's crazy I couldn't even imagine I have 20 inches outside just like my pants yeah, that's that's actually pretty good I can't make that claim I got an 8 inch taint though, so there's that. Keep hoping for a day when our society is like, it doesn't matter about other sizes. How big is your taint? I'll be like, I got 8 inches, and they'll be like, you are now king. King taint. Of the United Taints of America. Donald Trump is like, we're going to unite all the taints. All of them. Big ones and small ones. It's going to be great. And I'll be like, yep. I'm here as the biggest of the biggest. Got to come together. And my political opponents will be like, what's the point of a taint? It doesn't do anything. It just sits there. It's just in between two useless parts. <laughs> Sport. Sport six and a half and the dumbest thing is like, I'm sporting 2.76. Like such a specific number. I love it. 
My mom says I'm special and people laugh when I say that. Because usually special means like educationally subnormal. Just to be honest with you. At least here in America. What's going to happen at Ric Flair's birthday celebration? To me, I think Becky Lynch comes down and ruins it. The song about my friend in the military is going to be called Got Your Six. That's a cool name. Should I try to find another car? Let's try to find another car. How about that? I look forward to going around in circles for about 10 minutes. Is this it? Nope. What about this over here? You have arrived at your destination. No, that's definitely not it either. Um, oh shoot. I think this is the one. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one that I stopped pursuing because it was like on the side of a hill. So you would think with it being uphill, like you'd be able to very quickly see like, oh, this is what's up here and so on. Uh, B-Man, I'm missing all kinds of comments in chat tonight. Unlike a Madden stream, like, this is, it, it's difficult to keep up with chat. Unfortunately. Oh, wow. Um, this is... Oh, man. Can I use this? Will this allow me to go upward? I don't think I can make it up there. Yeah, this is this is way more difficult than I thought it would be. Again, you you would think going up hill that you'd kind of be able to see what was in front of you, but it's just not that easy because it's quite the incline. I keep waiting for the moment where like I, I hit the peak. I think I may have actually hit the peak already. And there may be something up at the top. Cause honestly, it just, it all looks like green everywhere right now i seriously have no idea where there could even be a hidden barn is that it that has to be it okay so it wasn't at the peak but it was pretty darn close Marijuana is legal in Canada. Yeah. Dog spells. Dog spells God backwards. So you're not the owner. What? EA still hasn't blocked me. Feels bad. They'll get to you eventually. I wish I had Paul Walker's design for the skyline. Me too. 
Doritos, I eat Ditos. Don't worry. If there's any hoon left in it, we'll find it. Doritos. Like, I like this design on the skyline, but I agree with what you're saying, like... You have arrived at your destination. I feel like the R34 was kind of like the peak to me. They have something pretty close. I saw it in the appearances. There you go. Nova Star, congratulations on your pregnancy. Did I see the new nacho spicy flavor? Yeah, I, I haven't tried it yet, though. Because, like... So my favorite Doritos are the spicy nacho and like apparently there's this new spicier nacho but I haven't tried it yet. If anybody wants to buy a bag and send it to me, you know, slide up in them DMs. I miss Coin Santo. I know, we got to get her back on a stream. I just like nacho cheese Doritos. Those were my favorite. Like, and I like them all. Like, I'm terrible. Like, Doritos, I have to keep them out of my house because I'll sit there and I'll eat a whole bag if you let me. Like, I like them all. I like ranch. I like the original taco flavor. I like uh, salsa verde. They make a salsa verde one that's really good. Uh, I'm trying to think what else they have. They have the Doritos Blaze. It's like, it comes in a purple bag. Those are new. I love those. Nacho, spicy nacho. I'm I'm struggling to think of uh, like a, a version of Doritos that I haven't enjoyed. But I always tell people it's like I like them all, but my favorite is always going to be spicy nacho. Doritos Blaze was ooh. Really close, though. Uh, Julian says, make me some food, Alex. Come to my house, dude. I, I'll I'll uh, deep fry some pizza rolls for you. Not even lying. I got, a, I got a deep fryer, and every once in a while, when I feel like a fat kid, I will deep fry pizza rolls today I ate nothing but vegetables fruit and uh, salmon grilled salmon that's what I had today but when I'm feeling like a fat guy grilled pizza rolls not grilled pizza rolls I'm sorry uh, deep fried pizza rolls so that's the look. I also got into grilling pizzas recently. I thought it was going to be kind of weird. It actually turns out really good. All right, come on. Come on, Jeep. You got to do it. We got to get the lead. That's not how we get the lead. Deep fry a cake. I don't think... I don't know that I've ever done that. That's a new one. Never heard of that. I've heard of deep frying Oreos. And all that. All right, there we go. I will let you take my Xbox One for 10 bags of Tostitos Salsa Verde. Uh, send me a DM. I'll, I'll gladly send you 10 bags of Tostitos for that. I need a third Xbox for my bedroom. 
When's the next vlog? Should be up tomorrow. Should be up tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. My teacher stole my egg roll and no one's concerned. You should tell your parents because you're eating for two now. You said you were pregnant earlier, so... How dare they take your egg roll? Switch to live chat mongoloid. I take a little bit of offense to that. Uh, Dumb as Sphinx calls me a bitch. Okay. Awesome. Do you like the newer Corvettes or the older Corvettes? I like them all, Ephus. I'm, I'm a sucker for the uh, Corvettes. If I had to pick one, though, I would tell you... My favorite Corvette would be the uh, the early 2000s generation, the Z06. I love those. Uh, deep fry a Twinkie. It's always a good choice. I like Twinkies like they are. I like to put them in the fridge, get them cold, and I eat them cold. Don't judge me, and if you do, I will ban you. There's nothing wrong with a cold-ass Twinkie. New barn find rumor. Oh. You know what? I kind of want to go find that barn find. So, like, let me do that. Yeah, the 04 Cor Corvette. I mean, like... Pfft. It just, to me, it's, like, the perfect look. Okay, hopefully I can find it. Oh, no! You cold Twinkie? You're gonna get banned. Don't knock it till you try it. I called myself a bitch and now I'm offended. What a bitch. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, next person that comes in here and calls me a bitch, I'm I'm just gonna f I'm just gonna fake a hate crime. I'm gonna pay some guys to beat me up and say that it was a hate crime and try to discredit them in the media. They ran up on me and they said, "Cold Twinkies are for crackers." So, so I said I like cold Twinkies. And then they beat the hell out of me. <laughs> they they were wearing t-shirts that said Hell Dog. I think they were they were Hillary Clinton supporters. <laughs> oh Jesus. Shaheed Smith, what's up, dude? F1 says I like cold Twinkies. There you go. Somebody else likes them. Eh, they're pretty good, man. You gotta try it. You know, like it feels, it, it feels good. I got turned on to cold Twinkies because I worked at a place where we bought. So we used to give Twinkies out to employees. Like, just, you know, like, you know, like how some like places, they just kind of give their employees like a snack or whatever. And it's like a thing that gets people going, you know, so like we'd hand out like we used to have a cart. That we wheel out onto the sales floor and it would have like sodas and like different snacks and all that you know like candy bars and sodas you name it and twinkies were one of the things and we used to buy the twinkies in bulk i mean when i say bulk i mean i'm like by the case so we'd freeze them 
so we'd thaw them out and they'd still be cold and i had one when it was cold and i was like oh man this is actually better i don't know where the hell this thing is what about this over here what's this over here It's definitely not it. In fact, I was about to say, I, that looked like it was actually destructible. Um, You know, it's actually not that big of an area when you really look at it, given all the trees. having a hell of a time mm, what's this little trail up here this might this might be like a little sometimes it's like up a trail and then like off to the side or something My phone says the stream is in 480p. Hold on. Let me check out this accusation. That's kind of scaring me a little bit. Uh, looks like you can watch this stream in 1080p. Uh, Swordfish gets boners from cold Twinkies. I mean, if I had a cold Twinkie in front of me right now, maybe. Let me put it this way, dude. I can't promise that I wouldn't get a boner. Ooh, Ooh this cold Twinkie. person who gave me the Twinkie is like, oh my god, I wish, I wish I never even knew what a Twinkie was after hearing that. Um, this is another one that's kind of difficult. Well, there's a sign for fast travel. So that's what, 13 of 200 that I have to get there? That's awesome. But I don't know, dude. I kind of want to do the Forza-thon, but it's like at the same time, I really feel like I should. I should get this barn find first. Where the hell could the thing be? Definitely going in circles.
again, there's got to be some kind of a map on the internet that tells you where all of these things are. Like, some of these are ridiculous. Like, I know for a fact with the last game, Forza Horizon 3, there were a few that I spent at least half an hour trying to track down. It's just some of them are, like, the coolest cars in the game. So, obviously, you want to find them. Does anyone here listen to Sparta remixes? I don't even know what that is. What's a Sparta remix? I think it's time to call it. I'm not getting anywhere with this. I feel like I've covered everything in this area multiple times and I've just gotten nowhere Okay, let, let me just go to another race. Maybe I'll come back to this or look up a map or something. Go back to that turn. Yeah, I just went where that turn was. There's nothing there. <clears throat> you ever get mad because you can't figure out how to change your little channel picture? Um, so when YouTube was doing the implementation with Google Plus, it was worse. It was worse than it is now. The thing with it now is it still takes time. So, like, it's not instant. If you change your channel picture, it does not immediately update. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll come back to this because th this is too much, man. I'm actually a little bit pissed off, like that it's that hard to find. I'm right over here, just real quick.
understood your destination. I don't feel like I've been in this little area here. No, I definitely wouldn't have overlooked that. At the very least, I can get this experience time potentially. There we go. Got the influence board. That's what they call it. That also tells me that I probably haven't been in this little section. Well, so much for that theory. I'm not seeing it. Yeah. I really have no clue. I'm I'm certain somebody has a somebody has a map. Uh am I still digging the GameCube picture? I mean, you know I'm going to dig that. Hold on, let's look this up. Forza Horizon for Barn Find Map. Okay, in the southern reaches of It says the southern regions of Lakehurst. Alright. I'm I'm gonna put my marker. where it says this thing is god i miss gamecube gamecube was lit That's it. Boom. Thank you, US Gamer. Why am I asking? Be there dot net. Appreciate it. Who the hell is Bob and why you want to kiss him? I don't know what you're talking about. Get my wisdom teeth out tomorrow. Fun times. It's not as bad as they hype it up to be, Andy. 
I promise you. It's like three days of suck. And it mostly sucks because you just can't eat anything. But the pain isn't that bad. The pain was not bad at all for me. And I had all four taken out. I had two in the top, two in the bottom. They also gave me painkillers that were so damn good. Like, I was feeling just fine. And then after about three or four days, I didn't even need the painkillers anymore. You have arrived at your destination. I have one on top and one on bottom on opposite sides. Yeah, that's just kind of the way. Like, when they take an x-ray, they can tell you usually if, like, the other ones are going to become a problem later. But when I got mine out, I was like, just take them all out. Because they told me the, the two in the top wouldn't be that much of an issue. But I was like, you know what? I'll just pay. I paid $200. I was like, I'll just pay the $200. Just take them all out. Insurance covered the rest. It, it was it was real nice. I call my insurance company and they're like, yeah, we'll we'll cover such and such amount. And then if you pay this, you can get all four. And then if you pay this, you can get just the two that they want. And I'm like, nah, I'll just do all four. Be done with it. Because like even the ones on the top that they said weren't that bad. When they did the x-rays like every once in a while they would hurt a little bit and i'm like dude i i just don't even want to deal with it i'd rather just get rid of them that ain't gonna do me no good that don't do me no good any more stories to tell uh I don't know. I'd like I've tried to keep it going on this stream, but I realize it kind of died out a little bit. Oh, hey, hey, Crackdown Three. Uh, I'm glad to see that you're installed. Hi. Yeah. Crackdown Three. Yeah. I didn't get mine pulled out yet, dude. I didn't get mine pulled out till I was. 26 26 Truth be told I wasn't gonna get any of them pulled until one of them um, the one on the bottom left Started really getting like crazy and it was starting to hurt and it was looking like it was gonna get infected so when I went and saw a dental surgeon, he was like, eh, it's time to get rid of them. So, um, set up an appointment and I'm glad I set the appointment when I did because like the week before the other one on the bottom started getting really bad too. And I was like, you know, it's good that these things are coming out and they gave me, um, for the day of, they gave me a prescription and they're like, go get this filled, and you're going to wake up in the morning, you're going to take this Valium, and then an hour after you take the Valium, you're going to take this um, Oxycontin, whatever the actual medical term is for it, right? And um, I took the Valium, dude, and I swear to fucking God, dude, I never felt so good in my life. I didn't have a worry in the world. Like, you could have told me anything, and I'd have been like, that's cool, bruh. That's cool. Like, I was just feeling so good. And then I got there, and um, they didn't put me under. They didn't do anesthesia because they didn't think it was necessary. They just gave me the nerve gas. And I swear, between the nerve gas and the Valium, I was, like, on cloud nine, dude. So they took... Fun story for you. They put 
they they started giving me the nerve gas but when they gave me the nerve gas like they hooked me up to one of those machines that measures your heart rate that does the like the beep 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 thing right so like for some reason they hooked me up to the nerve gas and i'm like this is like metal gear solid i'm gonna try to slow my heart rate like in metal gear and i started like holding my breath and it did slow my heart rate and the doctor got mad at me and he's like stop slowing your heart rate i get it you think it's funny stop it and i just started laughing but i did stop and then um like when i laughed it was like it started it just like went back to normal and that made me laugh more and then um they went in and i again my memory is kind of a little bit fuzzy of the actual procedure because as they keep doing the procedure they keep pumping you with more nerve gas and obviously that volume keeps kicking in but i do remember like as they were doing the procedure they're pulling out the teeth and they're putting them in this little like glass receptacle thing like it's a surgical thing right and they're taking them out and they're putting them in there and the nurse was about to take them away and i was like no i want to keep them i want my teeth back they came out of me they're going with me and the doctor's like no no they stink like why would you want the teeth they're, they're we, we can't give them to you we have to dispose of them properly this is a medical facility we can't give them to you and I'm like, no, I want to see him. I want to keep him as a memento. And <laughs> my mom was like, Alex, stop. You can't keep the teeth, Alex. Because I had my mom drive me because I was single at the time. So I was like, I need somebody who can drive me home. Right? So my mom's like, talking me through it and she's like alex alex you can't keep the teeth alex so <laughs> so i can't keep the teeth i'm already mad they finish up they have cotton like all up in here right they're putting the gauze in your mouth and then they're like, when you leave, you have to leave in a wheelchair. We have to put you in a wheelchair and we have to wheel you out to your mom's car so she can drive you home. And like, I sounded like I was drunk because I got cotton in my mouth and I'm like out of my friggin' mind on nerve gas and Valium and painkillers at this point. And I'm like, I walked in here, I'm walking out. On my own two feet. I ain't getting in no wheelchair. <laughs> so again, my mom steps in. Alex, just get in the wheelchair. You're making a scene. Your house just burned to the ashes. <laughs> burned to ashes. Yeah. You're just like, yeah, it's okay. I'll just get another one, man. I got insurance, baby. I'm good. You have arrived at your destination. That is definitely not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to this thing. Oh, I see. I accidentally selected the wrong thing. I got my cavity filled, and that night I was in so much pain I wanted to shoot my mouth with a shotgun. Uh, yeah, I mean, the... My, my wisdom teeth thing was crazy, dude. Because I, I had... I, I went home. I took a bunch of the painkillers. I went to sleep. I woke up. And it was like afternoon. And my friends were like, You need to come out with us and go drinking. And I was like, I can't. My teeth. And they're like, You can't eat anything, but you can still drink. And I, I just went out and I drank. I just didn't take the painkillers. I might kill myself. I just saw that in the chat. I just had to say it. Uh, my friend's house just burnt down for the second time in one year. Dude, I know somebody who... 
his younger sister, who was only like 14, was dating this dude who was 19. So he steps in and he's like, listen, my dad ain't around. So I'm practically her dad at this point. And me and my mom talked about it and like, we're not gonna allow you to keep dating my 14 year old sister. Like, it's just not happening. You're 19, get the hell out of here, right? So he does that, guy gets pissed, wants to fight him, but nothing ever comes of it, right? Within a week, someone breaks in his house and burns the thing to the ground and it was like arson the police got involved and they found out it was that dude the dude was so mad that he couldn't date the guy's 14 year old sister he burnt the damn house to the ground and this guy worked for me and i was like i don't even know what to say to that like imagine that like you're just looking out for your younger sister the guy was bad news obviously if he was burning people's houses down fun fact when he burnt the house uh the girl that he wanted to date was in it so obviously he didn't care about her too much Things people do, man. The things people do. Old Alliance shit. My parents' friend's house burnt down Saturday? Shit, dude. Yeah, it's... It's a big fear of mine. How long did the guy get sentenced to? I don't even know, dude. Last I checked, the guy was, like, in for a while, but I didn't really keep up with it. You'd be surprised how lightly they punish arson. That dude really wanted to be a criminal. He, he was a criminal from the start, dude. There's a reason the guy who worked with me told that guy like get lost he was like a small time drug dealer and when i say like small time drug dealer i'm talking about the guy sold weed okay but it's still illegal and it's still like something that can get your 14 year old sister in trouble right you don't want your 14 year old sister being around some guy who's selling weed on a street corner right so you tell him get lost he's 19 years old he shouldn't be messing around 14 year olds to begin with Burns your friggin' house down. Those are usually the guys that go in and out of prison. Like, they're in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out their whole life like they'll they'll be in for three or four years and then before you know it they're back in for another five and like career criminals they're just small timers so they never really like get a life sentence and it sucks for those people like you know you you wish they could do better for themselves you know Ford Raptor, oh yeah, oh, 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 Raptor. Mm, sorry. OJ Simpson was a great running back, he was, yeah. Yeah. It was what he did after his career that kind of haunted him a little bit.
See, but that's the thing you have to remember, man. Like, OJ... Yeah, he might have had a few small brushes with the law, right? But one moment, one really bad decision really just ruined him for the rest of his life. You know, even though he didn't do prison time for it, right? Even though he wasn't convicted, like, he lived, he's living the rest of his life in debt, because of what he did, which in a way is justice, right? His reputation is ruined. Nobody wants anything to do with the guy. You know, and it's all because of one night, one bad decision, one moment where you make the worst possible choice. It just goes to show, man, like you gotta, you gotta have a level head. You gotta have a level head. It's that, it's that nonsense that you do in the heat of the moment that you regret. Oh, I have a bad feeling I'm going to lose this race. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, can you subscribe to me, La Jolla Zarilla? Uh, here's a good question. Why should I subscribe to you? G give me a selling point. You gotta sell me on it. Sell me on it. Sell me on it, Chips Ahoy Gorilla. Okay, okay, much better. Much better start. Cuban Swim, welcome. That Ford is way too slow. You're way too slow, Viper. I'm kidding. I I think the I think it was just me not racing well the first time around. I think the Ford is okay. I could be wrong though. It does seem to be losing a little bit of speed or a little bit of um it seems to be falling behind in the straights. I think you're right. Let's see what 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 was this guy running with? Is a Chevy? Like a rock. Um, hold on. We got to We got to read this. Uh, Hey, purple swordfish. Do you work Monday through Friday? Yeah, I do. Um, nine to five ish Monday through Friday. It usually goes over nine to five though. Uh, I, I got 10 subscribe. I play Fortnite and apex. I don't know, man. There's a lot of people out there like that. What makes you different? Uh, Chips Ahoy Gorilla. Because he's smart? Um, he didn't say that. I need, like, I need something. Like, what sets you apart, man? Stir? Yukimura! Dude, if Stir came in one of these streams, I would lose my shit. I would lose it if Stir came in one of these streams. I wouldn't know what to do. Yay! 
Yukimura. Woo, Apex Legend? No, but like, like, what do you, what do you do that's different? Because there's a billion people streaming Apex Legends right now. Right? Like, sell me on it, dude. Sell me on it. Tell me why I should sub. Other than the fact that you play games. By the way, this is a question I ask myself all the time. What do I offer? What do I offer that makes me different than some other idiot? I say idiot, but I'm an idiot. Uh, what do I do that makes that sets me apart from some other guy playing Forza, right? So I always try to remember. Like, am I entertaining enough by myself to where somebody who's just saying, like, oh, I just want to watch some guy play Forza Horizon 4. Am I entertaining enough to where they pick me over some other guy? Yeah, I stream. Okay. See, there's, there's something. Congrats on finishing that song, Steel. Appreciate it. Appreciate the update. Hope you put it on Twitter. I actually like reading the lyrics to it. There was one that you posted where I was like, I kind of want to hear what that would sound like. I forget which one. I think it was the second song you posted on Twitter. Where I was like, I want to hear that put to music. It sounded pretty badass. I think it might have been the Kingslayer song. I kind of wanted to hear that one. I just hit an Inside the Park Homer and MLB The Show. I hit one of those. It was a beautiful thing. It made me feel pretty good about myself. It made my big chungus hard. Oddfellow Gaming, what's up, man? Welcome back. Ooh, man, I like this thing. Holy crap, this has some speed to it. I think I used this in one race before. And I was like, oh, this thing gets up to like a buck 40-ish. Oh, this is that crazy drum and bass song. Do, 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 do. Got a good multiplier going on here. This could be a good skill chain. Just because of all the jumpiness. Halfway through, and I'm still not in the lead. This is a little concerning. Yeah, I might need to restart this one. I feel like I just didn't get off to a good start and that guy in the lead really just pulled away. Or maybe I'm outclassed here. Like this thing may be losing ground in straightaways. I'm not sure. Holy crap. I got waxed. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Nightbot. What are you doing, Nightbot? Mom, mom, Nightbot's going crazy, mom. 
for some reason I am scared to stream. A few months ago, I wanted to stream an Assassin's Creed series, but I deleted the videos and just stopped. Yeah, I watched one of them. I kind of lurked. I don't recall much about it, though. Waxed? Yeah, waxed. It means you got, like, you got beat bad. Quack hip channel. Hello to you. Have I finished Journey yet? No, I should be able to finish it tomorrow, Food Matrix. I was thinking about streaming it tonight. Decided against it. I just thought it'd be more int it, it would be more fun to uh play this. Albatross. Oh man, I haven't been called Albatross in a long time. Space shuttle. I do like the space shuttle. All those decommissions. So I don't even. I don't even know if the space shuttle is like even. What do they do with it? Do they just like move it to a museum or something? That's what I'm thinking. Those legend solo sucks. Or I'm sorry, those lo legend solos suck. Four minute quarters. Yeah, I I hate them. I, I I don't like. I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut because I, I really don't want to sit here and bitch about Madden. Like that's not what I'm trying to do. But I will say this, dude. There there's no reason for four minute solos other than they want you to take a considerable amount of time. To actually finish it which is fine it's their game it's their prerogative but they should know like it's extremely obnoxious chew clock even with chew clock it's still a very time-consuming solo it's still very time-consuming give me 30 seconds guys I'm gonna just just gonna chill out here Probably for a little bit more than 30 seconds. And uh, give my hand a break here. Because it's kind of... It's getting kind of crampy. It's getting kind of crampy. Okay, everybody. Here, let's do this. Let, let, let's do this while we're taking a break. Everybody go to Chips Ahoy Gorilla 684's channel. He's in the chat. I'll put a link to it real quick. You guys can go check out his channel, right? Um, I'll still be here. I'll still be here, but go check out his channel. Tell me how it is, and if it's good, subscribe to it. There you go. Dumbest Sphinx, have a great night, man. Thank you for coming out to my stream. I always appreciate you coming out, man. F1, tell the story. Like, sub, donate, or get the fuck out. Honestly, lately, I feel like telling people they need to donate... Become a member to the channel or get the fuck out. I'm just kidding. For some reason, Julian has like the angry face in the chat. I have no idea why. By the way, Julian, thanks for coming out to my stream. You're the only LGG member who likes my channel. The rest of you guys don't give a shit. <laughs> I 
Mom! Mom, this purple swordfish guy is terrible, Mom. He doesn't even play Kingdom Hearts. How am I supposed to take this guy seriously? He doesn't even know what a papal fruit is. Why do I feel like I'm gonna lose this race to? I just feel like I don't have the horsepower to do it. See, this race reminds me a little bit of Dirt. Because a lot of people don't remember this about the original Dirt. But the original Dirt game was all about rally racing and uphill. Uphill Dirt racing. And then they came out with Dirt 2 and it was all about like, Oh, Blink-182, baby. I'm feeling it. Pass me the LA looks. I'm feeling it. I say that as a guy who actually played and liked Dirt 2, but it was very much different. It was like all about like, ooh, pump music. Oh man, this is so awesome. Just spike up my hair. This is some Avril Lavigne. Okay, I'm going to give this sh th this one more shot. I'm going to try to win it one more time. I think I might have pissed off Dumbest Sphinx. Stream Sonic Forces? Uh, so, I... <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I did a full playthrough of Sonic Forces on my channel. It's pre-recorded. It's on the main page of my channel. And the reason I say it's embarrassing is because it's like, wow, um, that's how bad I was at publicizing that I did a full playthrough of Sonic Forces that Julian doesn't even know that I did it. Okay, so I'm close. I'm 26% of the way through the race, and I'm close. Way closer than I was before. All right, here we go. Second place. Stream Sonic 2? Uh, I think I own that game. I think I own Sonic 2 from the Xbox Live Arcade days, so I suppose I could do that. I, I suck at this game. Why did I piss off Sphinx? I don't know, dude. He just seemed a little bit perturbed. 
I think I might have said something or ignored something in chat. Just the way he left just kind of seemed a little bit off. Um, probably some stupid thing I did. Mom! I'm pissing off my fan base, Mom! I say fan base, even though it's like not a fan base. It's more like just people that watch me play games. Yeah, I'm I'm actually going to probably just take the L here. Finish second. I'm not catching this guy. I don't know what the deal is. Like I just can't seem to catch up to him. I don't feel like I'm racing that poorly. <clears throat> It's always hard to tell, man. When they have a different, like, they have a different vehicle than every other person in the race, that's usually a bad omen. Purple Swordfish, are you playing against the computer or online players? It's the computer. See, he's using the Can Am Maverick. He beat me by seven seconds. Jesus Christ. I'll just take the L, dude. So their computer link, their computer counterparts, but they mimic real life players, if that makes sense. It's called a Drivatar system. You should definitely look it up if you don't know what that is. Like, it's one of the coolest things about Forza. <coughs> That's why I tell you to look it up. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. I have 2 million credits. So I don't want to buy a new house. Ooh, I could do a street race. Ooh, let's do a street race. Alright, Julian. Thanks for coming out to the stream, man. I appreciate it, bro. Thanks for being the one LGG guy that comes out to my streams. We all know my content sucks. Yes. I think he was mad about his picture. Hey, man. Think about those pictures, dude. Is they take forever to update. Take it from a guy who has a YouTube channel. Try to update my uh, my channel picture one time. It 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 basically took a couple hours. And I was looking up in Google forums, like, why that was. And everybody was like, yeah, it's Google Plus. It takes forever. That was back when Google Plus was, like, forced on you. As a YouTube content creator. As a PooTube content creator. Uh, it's just, I just want to end that skill chain right there. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude, get that skill point. Uh, uh. Buy, it's fine. What do you mean it's fine? It's fine that my channel is AS. I get that. I like how Julian tells me it's fine. It's okay, your channel sucks, AS. Let's buy a car for this. Let's see how much it's gonna cost us. Holy Jesu Christi. Okay, I want something that's good. Give me something good. I also want something that like is cool. Like I don't want a Sentra Nismo. Like a Nismo Sentra is pretty cool. But I don't want that. I want something like cool. Like this Merc looks tight. Like Nat Booty. That might be the look. 
Ooh, this one's cheaper. But this one looks cooler. We might go with that Merc. Ooh, I could get a 2018 Kia Stinger. I don't want that. Nah, man. Nah. I need something good. Get an Infinity. Don't really want to... I don't want a Beamer. That M4 is kind of tempting. Ooh, and it's only 92k. Hmm. I don't like Audis that much. Audis are not my jam. I think I'm going to go with the Merc. I know I'm splurging a little bit, but I'm going to go with the Merc. Let's go with that. You guys know we got to we got to paint it white. For the license plate alone. Uh, give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me. This better have the right license plate. If it doesn't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my shit. That is a really nice looking car. Man, that's nice. Watch it drive awful. There we go. Egg daddy. Oh, there we go. Crackdown 3. The multiplayer is ready to go. And I'll be playing Crackdown 3 in no time. I got two months of Xbox Live Game Pass for $2. I don't have to tell you how excited I am about that. Terrible turn right there. Well, that ended poorly. All right, 10, one love, 10. Have a great night, man. Again, first place guy is like so far out. It's not even funny. Come on. Make up the ground, Merc. You're supposed to be a great car. Although I feel like I'm asking for way too much because this, this, uh, we're, we're going to restart. See, that's the thing about these point to point races is like, if you get into a pack of cars where they're all hitting each other, the guy in the front just zooms away. On the higher difficulties like you have to be able to navigate through all that bullshit so like right here it probably doesn't seem like a big deal but like if you get caught up in all this this upcoming nonsense I think the other thing is the start that I got off to was a pretty piss poor one. So like right here, all these cars are bumping into each other and stuff around that turn. Remember when you could do <laughs> rewinds in Madden 11? Oh my goodness, I remember that. I thought I was the only one who did. I haven't heard anybody talk about that feature in years, bro. Uh, I just have to tell you right now, I used to have a lot of friends that played Madden. And we used to play each other 
in Madden for money. Like, legit playing for money in regs because there was no Madden Ultimate Team back then. And, you know, these were expensive games. I mean, these were $20 a game, right? And the rules were pretty robust. I mean, it was like all Madden. We would play on all Madden. And uh, we would... Uh, it's like 21 Skunk was a rule. Had a couple other house rules that were like very basic ones. And... Uh, yeah, dude, the the replay when that came out, it was like instantly banned with my friends. We, we, we all like basically told each other like we will not play with this replay or rewind feature enabled. Not for money, dude. Cuz like imagine that. Imagine playing online in like a competitive match and some guy throws a pick and rewinds it after you just made the play of a lifetime like a really good user lurk like no it just it doesn't work so i'm glad they took it out of the game even from a casual player standpoint i think that it sucks because like it like it, it erases like it doesn't make you a better player if that makes sense And Madden's meant to be a competitive game. A game like this, it, it's like, whatever. This game isn't meant to be competitive. It's not an eSport. Nobody does Forza Horizon 4 tournaments. At least that I'm aware of. Right? So, a rewind feature, it's like, who cares? But in Madden, like, I just thought it was... It was cool. Like, a cool idea. <laughs> but it just doesn't fit the game. I could not imagine you make like a great user play in in like weekend league and the guy rewinds it. You'd lose it. I'd lose it. Didn't I just do that, though? How? They ended up abandoned. <laughs> oh, really? No. No. We just sort of conveniently ignore that part and enjoy the cars. I know, because there could be a really sad story before. Any anyway, uh, what about this Audi people are talking about that might have been? Oh, this is a continued event. Okay, so I need to I need to finish this. Ignoring where that one came from. Oh, you'll lose it, all right. Just wait. Wait, what are you talking about? Bobby, you're scaring me, bro. You're scaring me. You're talking about like something from present day. Oh, God, I'm horrified. I'm not going to be able to sleep. She can't elaborate, which means it's something present. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm terrified already. Nineteen percent. Uh, again, that leader's pulling out. Way ahead. Oh, Jesus, hitting that car was really... Hmm. 
More turns, please. Need more turns. So we didn't lose any ground there, but like shoot, didn't help either. Feel like I came out of this turn pretty good though. Might be able to pass. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. That's how you do it. Bobby, when you say stuff like that, it scares the shit out of me. Like when you say stuff like that, it makes me it makes me think the worst. Like microtransaction hell. You know. I just, the, the one thing that I always come away with is I feel like the Game Changer program right now, it should be the biggest thing and the most like highly leveraged part of Madden. You have this group of content creators, competitive players, or people who are both and they're wanting to give you feedback on the game and I feel like they're not being listened to and that's what concerns me the most it's like those should be the people they've got their finger on the pulse like they, you should be listening to them a little bit more Like, I saw one game changer cut a video recently, and he said EA literally doesn't even answer his emails anymore. And I'm like, that's crazy. They flew you out to LA six months ago. And right now, they don't even answer your emails. That's insanity to me. Forty-one percent got the lead. Just don't screw it up. Maybe just don't hit the cars that aren't involved in the race. That that would be a good start. I'm loving this Merc. Like it's it's nasty. Uh, here we go. Ok, 
Yeah, I actually have a pretty good lead here. See, it's just so hard on this difficulty, man. Like, some races I feel like it's too easy, and then others it feels like it's way too hard. I don't know. Could be the tracks, could be my driving style, whatever. But you can see here, like, the cars that I'm going against are not that much worse than what I'm using. But again, I'm the only one using the... The, the uh... Mercedes. I don't know. Ooh, achievement. What? Well, that's nice. Okay, there. The, get the second achievement sound there. Uh, two Doris from Ego One. <laughs> I bet she's loving that. I bet she's loving that. The marathon. What is this thing? It's four and a half miles away. Take it on, man. Take it on. We'll see how. Uh... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do what I normally don't do. I'm gonna cut through. Just gonna see if I can make this a little. Uh, this is probably not gonna be quicker. Given the car that I'm using, this will probably not be quicker. I'm gonna stay the course though. Oh, this thing slides all over the place if it's not on tarmac. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna go ahead and and stay on the the pavement. This card is not, it's not like some of the others where it can kind of cut through. I'll cut through here. Oh, bad choice, bad choice, bad choice. I really should stop cutting through because like part of the achievements in this game is finding every road in the game. So I may as well just do that. Even if it's just like a road here, a road there. Ooh. Okay, so I need to get that beauty spot. I haven't gotten that one yet. Ugh. Oh man. Ooh, I beat the hell out of this car. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Okay. Should be able to view this. Derwin Whitewater. Good for a shiver if you've been out off roading for a few nights. Trust me. Bell plays. What's up, dude? Side, dude. All right, so that's three out of 12 beauty spots. So like, you know, slowly picking away at those. Apparently there's a, huh, I wonder where that is. Some kind of jump here, very close by. Um, you know what? I, I'll, I'll come back to that. I want to go check out this race first. They made it seem like a big deal, so that may, that may mean it's a big deal. I think there's something underneath this bridge. Could be wrong, but... Ah, there is. It's an influence board. I really need to start getting these. Even though this one's only a thousand. Just take it. Just get it. Just get it done.
Oh my lord, this thing is terrible. You tweeted out the song? I'll check it out after the stream, man. I look forward to that. This thing's got some serious top end. And it can really, really drift. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Got a little bit out of control there. Bad decision there. This thing really just does not anything not concrete. It just hates it. You have arrived at your destination. Alright, gonna use, I'm gonna use the Merc because I'm enjoying it. They said this was the biggest street race ever, so we'll see. Hopefully there's some kind of good reward. Although I will say the one thing about this game that I do like is it continually rewards you with new cars. So if you do what you need to do, you do get rewarded. Kind of wondering, is this like a really long race? Is that why they said it? Or is it like tougher competition? Or is it just a bunch of bluff? I would say by the fact that I'm already 4% through, it's probably just fluff. Like some kind of story related. Ooh, boy. That was visually appealing. Oh, man. Went way overboard. Should have been breaking a long time before that. Okay. Lots of contact. Yeah, this is, this is just like a storyline type thing. It's the only reason they said it was a big deal, because like this is not this is not a harder race, and it does not look like a longer one. It does look like it cuts through the festival area, which again they do to make it feel like it's a bigger deal. I say that as I lost first place. guy's just being a pain just can't seem to shake him there we go He's still kind of on my ass. I don't know, though. Like, the fact that I'm only 26% through now, like, I'm like, well, you know, this might be a little bit of a longer race. Like, it seems like the, it's not progressing as quickly as it was before. Like, I remember I got to 4% in, like, no time at the beginning of the race. Like, why is it so slow?
Hmm. Yeah, you know what? This this may be a really long one. I know in one of the Forza games, they had a race. The game took place on an island. And the, uh, the race was basically like a full full circle around the perimeter of the island. Am I going to see the Child's Play remake? Almost oh, certainly. Almost oh, certainly. I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping it's good. Because I like the original. I think the original is a good movie that still holds up really well today. Yeah, this is definitely a long one. Because we're four minutes in. This is going to be like an eight-minute race. Maybe even more than that. At this rate, it's going to be a nine-minute race. Oh, my goodness. It's weird, though, because, like, it was progressing so quick at the beginning of this race. It's kind of bizarre that it slowed down so much. B man, you're good, man. If you lurk, I don't care. Like, if you're watching, you're helping. Uh, Ethan, what's up, man? Just a regular old Monday for me. How about you? that turn and that was not my best turn oh that was also not my best turn like I had to slow down anyway but still like ugh. you worry if you slow down a little bit too much those barricades it's like they keep your multiplier going like, that's cool, but um, definitely hurts on the speed front. Yeah, it looks like I still have a firm lead. One thing I wish this game had was a timer that told you how far or far ahead or behind you were to your nearest opponent. Like, that's a standard in racing games, and it's not in this one. And I feel like it would be incredibly useful, especially when you're in the lead or in second place, to, to try and figure out, like, am I pacing well, am I trending well or not? But you have none of that. And I hate that. It's Tuesday now. It's true. True.
Okay. Jeez, this race is long. Probably still have another minute to go. Oh no, this is it. So it was a little bit over eight minutes, but it wasn't that bad. Um, Alex, if a new Splinter Cell comes out this year, would you play the multiplayer? Almost certainly. Like, I, I really liked Splinter Cell's multiplayer over the years. I thought it was great. Uh, go to the distance. Win a race at the Colossus Gauntlet. Tightener Marathon. So there you go. Got an achievement. That's kind of nice. Ooh, I got a green gray pea coat. Ooh. Might actually go well with the other stuff. My penis looks like a malnourished pigeon. Hey, Alexander. <laughs> Holy shit. So, um It's getting pretty late. I got work tomorrow. Uh I appreciate everybody who came out and watched tonight for some Forza Horizon 4. Should be back tomorrow night with either Forza Horizon 4 or World of Warcraft, one of the two. So, um, hope you'll join me for that. But, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream off here, guys. And, uh, again, thank you for watching to everybody who came out. Have a great night.